Hey guys, it's your old pal John. I hope you're doing well. I have a very humorous thing that was created in the United States, but it has to do with the American Revolution and a weird, the weird differences between measurements um, between the rest of the world and the United States. And I think you guys would enjoy this. It just came out this weekend, and I really wanted to uh, react to it because it is history and it is humor, and it does have to do with both of our countries. And um, this is the army camp life of uh, George Washington and all his crazy notions about how America is going to become crazy and how he wants it to be a free society and how uh, all the free, weird-ass things he wants to do. So... <laughs> Uh, let's check this out. If you haven't heard of Saturday Night Live, it's a comedy sketch show that we have here in the States, and it's done live, and uh, so let's let's get into it. I hear the British are sending another 5,000 troops. How will we ever win this war? By remembering what we fight for. General Washington. Sit, please. We need your strength for the fight ahead. We fight for a country of our own, a new nation, where we choose our own laws. Here, yes, here. Yes, sir. Choose our own leaders. Yes, yes sir. sir. And choose our own systems of weights and measures. <laughs> <laughs> weights and measures, sir? Yes. Yes, I dream of that one day. Our proud nation will measure weights in pounds, and that 2,000 pounds shall be called a ton. <laughs> And what would 1,000 pounds be called, sir? Nothing. Because <laughs> we will have no word for that. It seems like we should have a word for 1,000 pounds, sir. And yet we won't. <laughs> okay, if you're getting the, the picture of this, uh, this is, you guys can make fun of, this is totally making fun of America. <laughs> because we are free men. And we will be free to measure liquids in liters and milliliters, but not all liquids, only soda, wine, and alcohol. Only those, sir. Yes, because for milk and paint, we will use gallons, pints, and quarts, God will. That is so true. We only, that, in the States, we only use, uh, yeah, for milk, you get a gallon of milk, and for paint, it's a gallon of paint, a pint of paint. Everything else is really in milliliters. It's just, it's one of those oddball things, I mean, amongst our oddball country. Okay. And how many liters are in a gallon, sir? Nobody knows. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I don't know. And, sir, in this new country, what plans are there for men of color such as I? Distance will be measured in inches, feet, yards. <laughs> <laughs> so 12 inches to a foot? Uh, 12 feet to a yard. If it were only so simple. Three feet to a yard. And uh, how many yards to a mile? Nobody knows. <laughs> so weird. Okay, well, how many feet to a mile? 5,280. <laughs> it's a simple number that everyone will remember. All right, that is so true. It's, uh, I don't know why, but I remember from high school, 5,280. There are no yards, there's no yardage, really, exact yardage in a mile. And um, I love how he just completely disregards the topic of men of color in the new country. Um, this is one of the things I think that uh, in, this, in this way that people can, in a sense, laugh at this, um, not being, not... The wrong kind of laugh. It's a de it's it's a good kind of laugh because uh, um, it highlights uh, something you know important. I must confess, it feels a little complicated, sir. Why not use meters and kilometers? Right. We will, soldier, but only in certain unpopular sports like track and swimming. <laughs> For popular sports like football, we will use yards. Football, it's ball, American sir. football. Yes. It's a sport where you throw a ball with your hands. <laughs> so in football, there is no kicking? There's a little kicking. <laughs> there is. There is. Americans. You kick the ball to get points. How many points, sir? Sometimes one and sometimes three. <laughs> That is so true. You you in American football, you do kick 
occasionally for you know to get a field goal and it can be one or three points it spends but it's used with your hands <laughs> very confused sir do not worry for our new nation we will have rulers with two sets of numbers inches <laughs> on one side centimeters on the other so we can see where they line up yes except that they don't line up and they never will <laughs> Liberty, son. Liberty. <laughs> and the slave, sir. What of them? You asked about the temperature. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. We, we should have two different unrelated scales of temperature. One of them will make sense to the entire world. And the other Celsius. will be super random. Our great nation will use the random one. <laughs> What is the scale called, sir? Fahrenheit. Spell that for me. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> but one day, if we are brave, we will get rid of you and a lot of British words like color and armor. But by God, we will keep the British you and the word glamour. Yes, glamour. <laughs> Only glamour, sir? Only glamour. <laughs> that is my dream for our countrymen. A melting pot of different measurements that will make Europeans throw little tantrums. In short, a land of liberty where all men are free. <laughs> where all men are free, right? All right, so that's the sketch. I mean, it's true, Americans just... You know, uh, during, you know, it's not during the American Revolution that this all happened. And no, George Washington did not create all this stuff. But uh, it's a great parody, you know, saying like, this is my, you know, my vision for the future. <laughs> not parody. This is my vision for the future. And he just lays out everything that does not make sense about measurements for uh, the United States. And of course, does not talk about slavery. And they didn't talk about slavery uh, after the American Revolution for a number of reasons. The main goal was that it would immediately cause a civil war between North and South or, or conflict. And it's not that it didn't come up, but that was a compromise. Um, but it is very random. The amount of the way we use measurement, uh, it and it's it highlights something that is so i think i think extremely i think it's stupid uh that americans do this i mean we but all countries have it so a certain kind of thing like um like you know if if you're from the you know in the british the 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 british uh former colonies and and and, and britain um you guys drive on the different side of the road than uh, a lot of the rest of the world but you know it's it's just there are things that are quintessentially from a country and you know what if to a certain extent if you can't get the right kind of laugh or laugh at it uh or laugh with it i guess that would be the case um that is uh, that's key to everything and when this came out i i saw it once and i'm like oh man i have to do a reaction to this so i did see it in advance but um i wanted to do a reaction for you guys i just wanted to share it because um you know totally we can poke fun at ourselves not it seems like not 99% of us, but in comedy, absolutely anything goes. We've been having this debate for a while um, in the States for the past probably 16 or so years. Well, no, maybe six, uh, I don't know, for a while, at least the past 20 years, about what is comedy and what isn't. And the bottom line is comedy is kind of an art and a uh, good comedy, I think. Or maybe even you might call it bad, but that's art. Art is art. And... Um, being able to make a delivery of a line, how to, you know, all this other, uh, how to put together a sketch and do it live, uh, is, is speaks volumes, I think. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Um, I don't know if you're going to have a non reaction, like not going to like this, or if you are, and if you're American, you're probably laughing your butt off. Uh, cause it's so true. If you're British, you're probably like, yeah, we have tantrums every time you have these odd measurements and we have to deal with it. Uh, if so, if you're from anywhere else in the world, you're going to be like, yeah, you guys are freaking weird. So we are. Talk to you later.